Hey there! We know that cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral drawn inside a circle. Each vertex of the quadrilateral must touch the circumference of the circle. Not every quadrilateral is cyclic. Wondering what makes it unique? Well, in any cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of the opposite angles is 180 degrees. In other words, the sum of the angle A and angle C equals 180 degrees and the sum of angles B and D equals 180 degrees. Now the question is, if given that the sum of the opposite angles of a quadrilateral is supplementary, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. In simple words, there must be a circle that passes through all the four vertices of the quadrilateral. Let's prove that. Let's begin by taking a quadrilateral ABCD in which the sum of angles A and C and the sum of angles B and D are equal to 180 degrees. And we have to prove that vertices A, B, C and D lie on a circle. Observe that none of these points are collinear as they are the vertices of a quadrilateral. Next, we consider three of these four points, say A, B and D and a circle through them. We can do that because we know that through three non-collinear points, we can draw a unique circle. For the rest of the proof, we will use contradiction. That is, let's assume the vertex C does not lie on this circle. So let's name this point where the circle intersects the ray CD as C dash. So the points A, B, C dash and D lie on the circle. That means A, B, C dash D is a cyclic quadrilateral. In that case, we know that the sum of opposite angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So, angle A plus angle B, C dash D equals 180 degrees. Let's mark this as equation 1. But it is given that angle A plus angle C is 180 degrees. Let's mark this as equation 2. From these two equations, we can clearly observe that angle B, C dash D is equal to angle C. Let's mark this as equation 3. Now in triangle B, C dash C, angle C, B, C dash plus angle B, C, C dash is equal to angle B, C dash D using exterior angle property. Let's mark this as equation 4. We can write angle B, C, C dash as angle B, C, D. Therefore, equation 4 can be written as angle C, B, C dash plus angle B, C, D is equal to angle B, C dash D. But angle B, C dash D is equal to angle C by equation 3. So by substituting this, we can say that angle C, B, C dash plus angle B, C, D is equal to angle B, C, D. Therefore, angle C, B, C dash is 0. By this, we can say that C and C dash coincide with one another. So our assumption is wrong. So from this, we can conclude that point C lies on a circle and A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Therefore, we can safely say that if the sum of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is 180 degrees, then that quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. So now do you understand the way this theorem is proved and the mathematics behind it? It's time for you to get back to class and solve some questions on cyclic quadrilaterals. I'll see you next time.